on. Okay, here we go. Today we'll be talking about the All-Star Race format and the All-Star Race main race format for the All-Star Race and the All-Star Race Open. So, here we go. Uh, for the All-Star Open, there will be four heats and nine drivers. Nobody's locked in into the All-Star Race right away. The top four drivers advance from each heat, so there will be six drivers advancing from the heat. Then, the drivers that did not advance will have a chance in one of the two last chance qualifiers. There will be two last chance qualifiers. Then, the top three from each last chance qualifier advances into the main race as well. And then, my brother just chooses a brother. Oh, not what? My brother chooses a driver. And then, the, and then the highest the highest driver from last season's point standings that was not locked in will also advance in that we will have 24 drivers now onto the all-star race format. There will be three stages and then the last eight drivers to finish um, in each stage will get eliminated and until there are eight drivers left which will be in the final stage. Then the last eight drivers will go foul out for the win and the driver that wins all sorts will get 10 points in one playoff. So that will be the format. So let's get ready now for the heats. There you go, getting ready for heat number one. Heat number one is underway. Here from Mid Ohio, the all star race. Oh my goodness, you gotta be kidding me. I already got stuck on the track. At the Pro Davis goes to Millie. Remember the top four drivers from each heat, if I'm correct. Yep, top four from each he will advance side by side. Comes fifth place. As I don't know where in the world a 12 car of either new account is. And it's not going to be good. Where is that 12 car? Oh, we got a caution the 12 car. Why do we count spawn on the start of the race? I do new account already spun out. That is not gonna be good. And he'll bring out the caution. I do new account brings out the caution. Can go for green flag once again. Racing again here on the restart. Here we go. 38 Dipper's gonna have a good run now. But will he hold on to it? That was a 55 chase. Oh, will they make it through the corner? They somehow do. Dipper's not gonna get let out. Turn 2 is definitely a, a very tricky turn. And now the 55 of Chase is going to get clear. One of his best finishes this season came third place at the Daytona Road Course. And now Chase is out front. Over the 21 of Wreck. I knew a count recovering from his early spin early on in the start of the race. Up to P3. Now going off the final corner. It's going to be Chase that will lead that lap. Sorry for the weird camera angle right there. That was the 11 car. 11 car is on the All-Star Race here in Mid-Ohio. Right now looking for the final transfer spot over to 50 of Pro David. Can he try to get it? 21 to Wreck looking to steal the lead. Remember we did not want to be in that last chance qualifier. As now, here we go through the next set of turns. Now the 11 car turned about that with the tall while you would count right there. For P3, Pro David now, the first guy out. I like to count, not I like to count, Pro David, the first guy out. He really needs a great run. Oh, here comes the 11 car trying to steal the lead. Two laps to go from heat number one. The 11 car trying to see the leader away from the 55 of Chase. I knew Count now holding on to the final transfer spot. Four to third on the pole for heat number one. 
trying to work his way through, hiding the account in the danger zone now. Now Borch, the pool center, trying to battle his way. He's now at the P5 in the 42. Elegant Chevrolet, I believe I pronounced his sponsor right. You gotta be quiet, dude. Here we go, we're gonna come to this. We're gonna have to come to this white flag this time. Bye. Yes, now. The 11 car still count. Three wide. High new accounts now out. One lap to go. Rick hit the wall. Rick is in the wall. I knew it count. Now back up to the final transfer spot. Rick was in that final transfer spot, coming to the white flag in stage one, and now he's down to six. I knew it count needs to hold on. Borch is now to P2. Rick and Twin with a great run. I knew it counted down to six. Or that's a 21 card in order to get in. He's got one, a few more corners. Rick is really going to need to make a huge choke. The champion versus a rookie. Dipper now into it. But coming off the final corner, it's going to be the 11 car. It's going to steal it. I don't know what count's going to get in. Chase chokes hard crash for the 55 of Chase, who looked as so he was going to make it in. And the 55 car is wrecked out. And the 11 car, the 42, the 12, and it looks as though the 21 will all advance. As the 55 of Chase is going to be out, and he will not be into the main event. Due to the damage by hitting the wall, Chase will not compete in the All-Star Race. Two is underway. Oh, Mr. Off to a bad start. He's going to the first corner. Six of BMW, the defending winner of the All-Star Race, is now up to the front. And that color generator's Ford Mustang. Here comes the 22 of Mar, the 31 of Tesla. Look at him. I haven't talked about Tesla all season long. In the Mustang situation, entering Daytona, even if he does win the All Star race, but it will certainly help him. And a very dreadful part of his career here in this series. And Tesla's gonna steal the lead in that Series XM Chevrolet Camaro. Oh, never mind. BMW with a great run. BMW, a very great racer here in Mid Ohio, which just talked about how he's a defending winner of this race. Mister now, after a bad restart, climbing his way through the field. He's already come to lap two. Of course, Chase, you're not the only car to be confirmed that will not be in the All Star race due to his damage and by the look of the replay the 21 of Wreck who was the last car to advance actually pushed the 55 so it was not so it was not Chase's fault he did not choke that it was more of a rubbing his racing problem with the 21 of Wreck of course Wreck trying desperately to make his way into the officers without having to do a last chance qualifier and he did that BMW still out front though over the two car mister. Pretty silent heat too right now. BMW with a huge lead just acing his corners. So no wonder why he is the defending winner of this race. Oh the 22 of Mar goes around. And that will bring out a caution. Look he did not hit the wall. Unlike the 55 car chase, but that is going to be costly. and He will have to start in the rear of the field on the next restart. There we go, three laps to go here in heat number two. And we are underway once again. Barely somehow got out of there. Here we go for the restart. The 6 of BMW once again getting a good start. But here comes the second of the century way down low. Nearly in the grass right there. K 
Okay, trying to make his way through it. BMW now getting shuffled back. His sentry will now lead the way. Turn 2, also known as the keyhole here. Very tricky turn. Might look like the guy that's in last is going to stay there and down. And then after exiting that turn, he's the leader. Certainly a thing you got to keep an eye on. Both in these next few heat sessions, call first and the main race, of course. The sentry now continuing to lead the way. Already two wins this season for him. Two career wins going for them this season. Already locked into the playoffs. Second right now in the playoff standings. Two of Mr. P2. There one ace in their corners. Two to go. Here in heat number two in mid-Ohio. Let's go through the Cooper Tires son, um, bridge. In turn number one. Here to go to turn number two now. Sentry out from BMW. Looking to make some positions. Remember he's the defending winner. If you look on the right side of the screen. Defending winner. BMW in a six car. Mar battling out with his teammate of Mr. Penske already has one of the three cars locked in. Being Lilac like new account. Then you got their affiliated car. Now they want um, the other two cars to make it in as well. But that's certainly not. But. What Mar is doing to Mister is certainly not going. It's certainly not what Team Penske wants to see. Sentry still out front. Mars in P two, and now Thomas is going to take P two away. As now we're going to have one lap to go in stage, not stage. As Mar is going to take the lead. Mar takes the lead now. We now have one lap to go in heat number two. Remember, one more lap. BMW holds on to the final transfer spot over the 9 of Thomas. Here comes Mar 22. Jar is still the lead. He will. Look at that clean pass by Mar over the 77th century. Here you go through the corner. Here comes Mr. Even. This is what Penske wants to see right now. Both the cars 1 and 2. It would be a huge sign of relief for Penske knowing that their cars are going to be in the main event. They can just hold on to the final few corners. BMW though, of course, in the danger zone, knowing that he needs to make a move in order to make himself feel like he's safe. Century in P2. Mar looks like he'll win heat number two. Here they come to the final corner. Mar now with a huge lead. Here they come to the final corner. And Mar aces his corner perfectly. He will. Coming off the final corner. It's going to be Marna wins a two as a photo finish for the final transfer spot. This can go to the defending champion of Alex in the 18. Holding off the defending winner of BMW. Alex with a last lap to the last turn pass. Barely edges out BMW for the final transfer spot. And it'll be the both Penske cars, the 77th century and the 18th of Alex that will advance into the main event with their heat and green flag is in the air heat number three is underway now the mario 14 and brandon's gonna get out to a good start 47 i'm gonna go over for the eight of the mario here to go into turn number two two remember there's a tricky turn Oh, the 47 to 8 nearly went into the grass right there. And Donut's going to steal the lead. Brendan now getting shuffled back. 19 to Bacon off of the great run now. That bad is Pro Shop Machine. You're going to the next set of turns. Another few tricky turns. Donut's going to survive these corners and still have his lead. Right here is where he can be a little bit safe when they get all clear. Other than the Mario who's now battling it out for P2 with the 19 of Bacon. And here they go. Exiting off the final corner. Everyone's going to make it through here perfectly. And now here we come to lap 2. Donut still out front. The Mario in second. The Mario pretty much in a Muslim situation. At least I can guess so. 14 of Brandon. Trying to work his way through. Remember his second career win. Was at the Charlotte Roval. Which is a road course. Middle Ohio is also a road course.
14. Looking to work his way through the field. Hick in the four. Brandon's teammate is now into the final transfer spot. Teammates battling it out for the final transfer spot. That's certainly a, a thing you don't want to see when your team owner, the 19 of Bacon, now out to the front. Or up to the front. Will everyone make it through? They somehow do. Man, everyone here doing very great. Here in heat number three. Stone is still continuing to lead the way. He's one of his only road courses. One of his few road course wins came at the first ever race being in the Daytona road course. As the five of R are now holding on to the final chance for spot. The four of pick. Now trying to battle out for P4. As now here comes R looking for P3. Here they go into the next few set of corners. Oh man, R looking to get there. Down the back to the lead. Gonna we're gonna have three wide. Nearly right there. So they're not gonna work out. Donut's still out front. We're gonna have two to go here in heat number three. Donut did win here in mid-Ohio once. And the final finish is now R is gonna take the lead. So Donut certainly knows how to get one done here at Mid Ohio at this certain racetrack. Of course, we will be back at Mid Ohio for the playoffs. Of course, Donut is already going to be in the playoffs with his win at Martinsville. A few races before, then looked like if he had more than he had at least 60 winners, and looked like he might have not advanced. But now, since they're repeat winners within the last few races, Donut is 100% going to be in the in the fight for a championship. And of course, when Ohio is in the round of 16, as the 5R is still continuing to live, we got one lap to go. This time by in heat number three. Hick back to the final transfer spot. Now battling out with Bacon in the 19. Don't, oh, we're gonna have three wide here in the back. Surprisingly, no cautions have come out, and it looks like they might not. Here we go now to the white flag for Heat 3. R now in the lead. Hick is now to P2. Cole into the final transfer top. Bacon getting shuffled back. Oh my goodness, this is laggy. Okay, never mind. We're not doing that. But now, Donut back to the lead. Brandon up to P3. Brar is falling back. So now both SHR cars. Well, actually, something I think happened to the four car pick. Because I do not see him anywhere. Donut up to the front. And now, here we go to the final corner. Who will advance? Here we go. Donut is going to win. Three wide. Bacon is really going to edge the Mario out. So it'll be the 47, the 78, the 14, and the 8 of them, or the 19 of Bacon that will advance here. Wow. So, um, that will be it. Here we go to the final heat to see which Shires advance with their heat. But for right now, it's going to be Donut, Cole, Brandon, and Bacon. And here we go. The final he main heat is underway. The final heat is underway here before the last chance qualifier start. Remember, top four advance. The three of Joey off to a good start. Just coming off his most recent win. Coming back at Worldwide Technology Race for a gateway. I call it gateway. As now the 16 of Ego is going to take the lead. Here comes the 24 pin. Three wide. And pin is going to in the playoff pitch right now. But I believe he's below the cut line. Now I'm trying to steal the lead away. Look at him go. This heat's going to probably be the most craziest out of the other ones. Because this is the final heat. Before the last chance qualifiers happen, of course, you're in the one there that will not be in the main event, being the 55 chase due to how many damage he has. They will not be able to repair in time as Joey, way off the 
way off um, from the pack now. The 24 pin continuing to lead. Now Joey finally gets a position over the 99 developer who has who got his first career win here in the Mid Ohio playoff race. As Pitt is now out front, three Chevrolets in the top three. 24 to 16 to 7. Of course, the only teammates that are in this race are the one car spun to 99 of L Pro. And that's about it, pretty much. We'll see if they can work their way through the field. Oh, but they're not looking very good. That freeway insurance Chevrolet. There's 24 pins still continuing to lead the way. Oh, the 7 of A hard into the wall. And that is going to be costly. The 7 of A hard into the wall. The 7 car. That looks like a ton of damage. And that is costly because since he's in Heat 4, there's not much time left to repair your car if you're damaged in Heat 4 because the, qual the dash chance qualifiers are just after this heat. And that's going to mean Bay will be another driver that will be out of this race. Unbelievable. Bay running in the third spot. Looks like he would have advanced. And now he goes from nearly advancing to not even going to make it into the main event. Here we go. Green flag once again. Sponge dropping to the rear due to moving a car. And here we go. Green flag is back at it again. And somehow the one of Sponge is going to get a great start. But 99 of El Pro now to the lead. Here comes the one to sponge though, look at him. The top four are gonna advance and they continue this. Meaning the one of sponge the 41 the mind the 16 of Ego and the 99 of L Pro. Here we go into the next set of corners. Will anyone from the other pack catch up in time? We already know one car is out of this race. Two cars will now not be in the all streets, being the 7 of Bay and the 55 of Chase. Those cars are confirmed. But man, with a heartbreak for Bay, as oh, some cars get clogged up in the back. The Warner Sponge, most recently runner up in Gateway. Really needs a good race. And now here we go, two to go here in heat number four here in Mid Ohio. As they go through the Cooper Tires Bridge once again. 99 of El Pro looking out for P3 and P2. Looking to make it a track house 1 and 2 once again. Here comes the 41 of Mike with the run of 99 of El Pro. Goes with him. Man, El Pro ditching his teammate of Sponge. And here comes the other pack of Sonic. The 17 Fastenal car. He's only now starting to fall back. Pretty shocking now because he has the most wins out of this whole group he might not even make it he's got one lap to try and catch up along with the other three drivers ahead of him and certainly them getting clogged up is not going to be helpful as the mic is going to lead the way we have one lap to go now here in heat number four the final heat one lap to go in the final heat 41 of Mike out front over the one of Spawn, but ain't thinking it happen, especially that this is a road course. 99 of El Pro closing in. We got the three Joey right there. The pack. They everyone is caught up. Joey now looking to make it make his way back to the field. The six in the Vega holding on to the final transfer spot. Remember that 16 car is an affiliated RCR car, which Joey is driving an RCR car. So this will certainly be interesting. Will Joey be able to do the pass? Mike is out front with a huge lead. Oh, the one of Sponge is going to get shuffled. He's going to have one last shot, but coming off of the corner, Mike is going to make it in. Sonic, Elbro, Elbro gets in. 
Joey, Sponge, El Pro, and Mike are gonna make it in. Sonic barely gets edged out by El Pro. Man. And both track house cars, the three of Joey and the 41 of Mike, are going to make it in with their heat. The final last chance, the first of the two last chance qualifiers are underway. Here, remember, this is going to be the final time for some drivers to advance. This is going to be the final opportunity for some drivers to make it into the all-star race. And the 43 of that's my, he's going to take the lead early. Oh my goodness. Oh, you gotta be kidding me right now. That I messed up any cars if you think on this. I did not. The 24 pin and P2, but that's my. He's gonna steal the lead away. Remember, the top three advance from their last chance qualifier. That's how it's gonna play out. Top three advance from each last chance qualifier. So everyone pretty much in this last chance qualifier. So I had to go for it. Here in here within these last few laps, here to kind of lap two now. That's why still out front. Caution has come out for who? That is the eight of the Mario. The Mario caution comes out. Big damage to the eight, and that is gonna bring out the caution of Mario. Is not going to be an all-star race. That is huge. The Mario. Last season was a championship for a contender. Right now below the cut line. Not going to make it into the all-star race. The Mario is out. He will not go for 10 points. Go green flag. It's back in the air. Ryan is going to lead the way with now three laps to go. That's my in shadow side by side. The nine of Thomas and P3 over his team at the 48 of Suter. All the Henry cars are in this. So that means all the Henry cars will not be in the all star race. So say three of the four Henry cars in the top three, that means all only those top only the three Henry cars will advance and the, one of them will have to be gone. And the 43 of Scooter leads the way over the 20 of Shadow. We're gonna have two laps to go this time by. In the last, in last chance qualifier, heat number one. Can that's my hold him off? Scooter in the 48, battling out for P2. Shadow now down to the final transfer spot. As now Scooter goes back to the final transfer spot as Shadow passes him once again. And now Scooter fighting back. Shadow now down to the final transfer spot. Now Scooter looks to take the lead. The intensity picking up with two laps to go. The final two laps are any drivers to try and make the all three. So not they will not make the all three since they will have to focus on Daytona. Which nobody wants to go there in the mustard situation. Which sadly, some drivers are more than likely going to be in that situation entering Daytona. And now Scooter is going to lead the way. Here comes the 20th Shadow in the final transfer spot. Nobody is pretty much safe here, especially coming to the white flag. And the white flag is out. Last chance qualifier number one. Shadow leads the way. Shadow, the season five champion out to front. His most recent win came back in Watkins Glen. He has not won this season yet. In this season yet. Scooter and P2. Tesla now trying to make it for P3. Tesla out of nowhere. Trying to battle out with a 43. Side by side with the final transfer spot. The final chance for any driver to make it in. Of course, unless they're high in points and they're not locked in. 
Tesla now to the final transfer spot. Shadow with a huge lead. Over the 48th. Dolph Scooter to the chokes it. Shadow will come left of the final corner. Will he advance? Yes, he will. Shadow Tesla, and that's my advance. Wow, Scooter. He chokes it away. Oh my goodness. Unbelievable. Shadow Tesla and that's my will run for 10 points here later on in the All-Star Race. What an incredible battle here for the final transfer spots. So I literally paused. You gotta be kidding me. My thing paused. But anyways, we're on the first lap. That goes in the 45 leading the way over to 50 of Pro David. Here they come to lap number two. There goes still out front. Remember the top three advance. Heck, right now looks like he'll be the driver that advances with his um highest points finish. Because he did make it because he's the only driver in any of the last chance qualifiers to have made it into the championship four. And of course, all the other championship four contenders were either out of this race, which was Bane to seven, or were advanced with their heat. But unless he makes it in, then, but if he does advance with the last chance qualifier, then, um, that means someone else will get in with the highest point finish, or to get chosen. 34th guard with the P2. Garth and Dipper are not eligible for um, highest point in points because they're rookies. 17 of Sonic. That's 44 guard squeezes all the 23 of Storm goes around. Caution comes out. It is going to give us a late race restart. Storm will not be out of this race, but he will have to start in the rear of the field. Alright, here we go. Green flag is going to get ready here back in the air. Three laps to go from Mid Ohio. Here in the last chance qualifier. Here we go to the first corner. And now entering turn number two. It's going to be the 50 Pro David that will get probably the, the, the best exit here out of all these drivers. Pro David now leads the way over the 17 of Sonic. The 16 of Ego of the P3. Remember, only three laps left here in this last chance qualifier. Hick knows that he's pretty much safe. Even if he doesn't get chosen, does advance. He is the only driver um, to be highest in the points because he's making it to the championship for last season. And the other three drivers are either out of this race or made it in. But if he does advance, then that will give the highest points finish to someone else the, or I should say the, the driver with the highest points finish that advances to someone else so this will be very interesting or if he does get voted then that will also be very interesting but now the 16 of Ego look at him trying to steal the lead or second place the 17 of Sonic now getting passed Sonic now back to the final transfer spot with two laps to go the 16 of Ego trying to work his way through the field And here comes the 16, the 50, side by side. The 16 trying to steal the lead away. And the 16 steals the lead. We have one lap to go this time by. This is not over yet. The white flag is out in last chance qualifier 2. Here comes Pro David in the 50 car. 17 of Sonic giving a push to 23 of Storm. This is going to be his final chance. He's now the P4. Closing in.
Side by side. Here comes the pity. The pity trying to steal it. The pity to the race lead. Pro Divi back to the race lead. Here we go to the final set of corners. Sonic holds on to the final transfer spot. Sonic to the lead. Here we go to the final corners of this race. Of the last chance qualifier. Pro David is going to advance. Along with Sonic and Ego. The 16, the 17, and the 50 advance. With Pro David winning the um, last chance qualifier 2. How about that?